I don't get it. It's not letting me go live on PS4. It's telling me that I have to do all this other shit. This sucks ass. I wonder if it's just this game. So this is a game I'm trying to go live on right now so I can show you guys some awesome gunplay. But, uh, let's see if I can at least go like this to leaderboard real quick. Oops. I guess you can watch her dance if you want. <laughs> Leaderboards. And there I am. So on level two in arcade mode, I am ranked 32 in the world right now. And this is a long list. Like when I first did it and did really crappy, I was way down the list. There's, there's, I think at the lowest I've ever seen my score was 16,000 in the world um, on one some level. I can't remember what level it was, but I didn't really play it through. Um, but anyway, so yeah, pretty hard to get. Level one I'm still working on. A lot more competition. I am ranked 121. By the way, this is an awesome game. Like, if you haven't played Blue Estate yet, definitely check it out. It's freaking crazy good. And, like, you, on PS4, you use your controller and actually it uses the, um, like this, like the motion of the controller like this. So you go like that to aim at the TV. So it's using the, I don't know, the gyros or whatever inside of it. And it actually works pretty good. And so it's like a rail shooter. It's pretty awesome. And I, I, don't, I don't think you can use the move controller, which kind of it's kind of dumb. It should allow you to do that. But you also you do, there's like a lot of swipe motion, so it's really interesting how they put it together. And uh, on the PC, you can actually use something called like live motion controls or something like that. It's where you actually, it's like kind of connect where you use your finger, but it just automatically shoots. This one you have to actually pull a trigger. It feels a little bit better. But it's kind of weird that they didn't make it for motion or, or the motion control for PS4. But anyway, it looks really, really good with the uh, standard controller. It's really fun and uh, very challenging. And uh, the storyline is pretty good on the single player mode. So you have the uh, story mode, which is pretty cool, and you have, like, arcade mode, which is pretty awesome. And uh, so you have to play through story mode, I think, to unlock certain levels in arcade mode. But, yeah, really cool game. So, all right, I'm going to see if I can get it to work. But I don't know why it's not working. So, anyway. And how do I do this? 